Hi and welcome back to Dr64. Today we want to have a look at this special A500. You are wondering what's so special about? Inside the housing there's a revision 8 motherboard. This means this Amiga can be upgraded from an A500 to an A500+. Except for the hole in the case the previous owner drilled into, the Amiga is in pretty good condition. Ok, then let's see what are the differences between the A500 and the A500+. Plus. Here we have our service manual for the A500+, Plus, and it's from Commodore International Spare Parts GmbH Braunschweig, West Germany. <laughs> That's very nice. <laughs> ok, A500+, Plus specifications. The A500 Plus is a feature enhanced version of the A500 personal computer. So what's now added? So we have here on board the 1 MB instead of only 500 KB. We have the 8375 FAT Agnes which supports up to 2 MB of chip RAM. We have the onboard real-time clock. We have the um, ECS Denise and the full ECS uh, support. And we have a ROM with the version 2.04. In this video today, we want to upgrade the chip mem from 500K to 1 Mac. If you are interested, we can also assemble the real-time clock circuitry in a later video. So then, let's open up the case and see what we have inside. Like mentioned, we have the Revision 8A motherboard. We have the 2.04 kick ROM. And we have the 8375 FAT Agnes, which can support up to 2 MB. And we have the ECS Denise. The four DRAM chips for the 1 MB version are missing. And the demultiplexer is also missing. We also have to change some jumpers on the mainboard. Jumper 4, 3 and 2. And for sure we have to assemble the four missing DRAM chips and also the demultiplexer. But now let's also test the configuration of this Amiga with the Amiga test kit software. Ok, we have the enhanced chipset ECS and we have 512 kilobytes of RAM. For sure we first need the RAM chips. We have seen we need 4 RAM chips. So here I have found some chips on eBay. For example here from Germany with shipping costs of only about 2 euros but you pay for two pieces of these chips already 10 euros so means two of these two chips you have to pay 20 euro plus shipping so you have in total 22 euros also on ebay but um, delivery is from china you pay shipping also about 2 euros but here you have to pay for four pieces, four euro and fifty cent about. So that means four ICs, four euro and fifty cent plus shipping two euros are only six euros and fifty cent instead of twenty two euros. Okay, they are coming from China directly, so means you have to wait. But normally the shipping will arrive within 10 or 12 days. Next possibility is you order the chips directly from China, for example from AliExpress. You have to pay nearly 3 euros of shipping and for 10 pieces you pay only 3 euro and 45 cents. So means for the 4 ICs plus shipping you pay from AliExpress 
4 euro and 40 cents. And now we need additionally the logic chip, the LS139. We can order it from Germany, for example from Reichelt. That's only 60 cents, but you have to pay a shipping of 5 euro and 95 cents. So, so means if you order this from Reichelt, Germany, you have to pay 6 euro and 55 cents. If you order 10 pieces of this chip from AliExpress also, then you have to pay, for example, for one chip, 32 cents plus 2 euro and 80 cents shipping. So means you pay for one IC, including shipping, about 3 euro and 12 cents. So means if you order all from AliExpress, you pay 4 euro and 40 cents for the RAM chips and you pay 3 euro and 12 cents for the logic chip. So means in total you have to pay, including shipping for these chips, 7 euro and 52 cents. Okay, so I would say that's a reasonable price for a 512 kilobyte update. So let's start preparing our PCB. So now at first let's clear the through holes so, so that we then can place our RAM chips or our sockets. Let's first try the solder wick method. Hmm, that doesn't work very well. Let's try the other side. Second chance for the solder wick. No, at this time solder wick doesn't work very well. Let's try with a desoldering pump. Okay, that looks much better. Only a few more to go. Hmm. And because we want to assemble U32, we need to desolder the solder bridges. The solder wick will not be my friend today. Okay, okay, let's do the rest off camera. And now desoldering jumper three. And now the new solder bridges. Now desoldering jumper two. and placing the new solder bridge. Okay, because I don't want to reassemble the MC shield again, there should be enough space for sockets and the RAM chips. Otherwise, it would be pretty tight. So now let's assemble the sockets.
after 12 days all chips arrived I have no DRAM tester so I cannot check the DRAMs but the logic chip I can test with my mini pro All tests are passed, so that's good. So let's place it into the socket. That's a tight fit. Yes, now we have one Mac of chip RAM for under 10 euros. Let's run the RAM test for a while to check if everything is fine. Thanks for watching. Until next time, your Dr. 64.